What's up everybody? Well, I got another Alien War M1879 M gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're gonna have a look at Starfield, but at 1440p. Now we're gonna just do what we did at 1200p and just leave everything maxed out, native resolution, all that good stuff. So we're probably not gonna be able to get a constant 60. I mean, we couldn't even do that at 1200p. I'm just curious how playable is it at 1440p really at all those settings, but I would not run those settings. We're just pushing this thing as far as it can go just for fun. But in any case, let's not waste any more time and let's get into the game. All right, here's the settings we're gonna run. Same as before on the 1200p, but this time we're at 1440p. And now we got some HDR. Turn motion blur off, of course. No VRS, no film grain intensity. I turned off depth of field. But in any case, other than that, why don't we go hop into the game and we'll see how she runs. All right, let's get some gameplay here. And we'll just do the opposite of what we did before. We'll run around out here for a little while and then we'll run into the city and see how it does in there. And then that way we'll get also all the stutters in between if we get any more of those drops down to 24 FPS, which we probably will. It doesn't really seem to matter too much if we're on the Alienware screen or the secondary screen, but it does seem to be a little bit less prevalent on this screen, but that could just be placebo or luck or a combination of the two. Who knows? Still though, very playable. I was expecting this to be like 40 FPS at 1440p, you know? Man, that is a gnarly looking thing, isn't it? I would not want to mess with that. Going through the bushes. Giant frame drops just spinning around, like due to the game anyway. The laptop still might do that, but that we all know it's the laptop doing it, not the game. It's done it in basically every game I've played. Hopefully it's fixable. I don't like that. That's the one thing that ticks me off about this laptop. Like I said in my last video, it kind of makes the whole point of why I got it pointless. If you try to play Warzone or even Diablo 4 or something like that, that lag will get you killed. But I'm hoping they'll fix it eventually, and hopefully it's fixable. Because they've been working on it. You know, they go, we got drivers that work now. Hopefully Afterburner can give me some data at some point. There's something running around out there. Wow, there's a giant ass thing too. I was paying attention to that thing. I forgot what the hell that is. I'll just do my best to avoid that. All I've got on me is a knife. I'm trying to melee. And it doesn't work well, I can assure you. Don't do it. I die a lot.
guess I should start looking for a hole in this freaking place. I didn't have any luck when I was in the city. I kept on trying to figure out how to get out, but I couldn't figure out the proper way, so I ended up jumping off a damn wall and hurting myself a little bit. Now, there's my ship, but I think that's all walled off. I don't think we can get over there, but I'm going to check it out anyway. Either way, we'll figure out a way to get the hell back in town. If I have to, I'll fast travel to the son of a bitch, you know? But for now, we still got some time I wanted to spend outside anyway. I think I remember searching that way before, and that got me into a trap where you just get stuck into like a little valley where you can't go over that way and you can't go back over that way. You just get screwed. See, we got some drops under 60 though here and there. But for the most part, we're over 60, outside anyway. So, more than playable. I would just tone some settings down. We'd probably stay mostly over 60 all the time, just like at 10 to 1200 feet. Or just turn on a little FSR, one of the two. Let me in. I just want to go into your city. Let me in. A settlement needs my help. Oh wait, wrong game. CO2 and O2. You gotta be careful. That's why I'm not running everywhere. Sometimes I can get it to like sideways run up shit. All right, screw this. And then you get to see load times, which are not very long. Holy shit, look at all those people. It's a traffic jam. Yeah, AI in this game is not exactly great. But yeah, with all these people, it drops under 60, but not by too much. Dropped down like 48 for a second there. That was a lot of NPCs on the screen. But, yeah, we seem to hover right at around 60. Even in town, so. Still have some drops here and there, just like we did at 1200p, but cities are harder to run. And obviously the bigger city you go to, it might drop a little lower, which would make sense. This isn't exactly the biggest city in the entire freaking cosmos here. I had to think about the correct terminology there for a second. I was going to say the whole world at first, but it's like with lots of worlds in this game. Alien extravaganza. Thomas Darrow, that's what folks call me. Big. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Over there. Do this?
Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I was expecting much worse performance at 1440p. But if anything, we were like a little CPU bottleneck. Crimson fleecy. So we're getting very similar FPS, it seems. But we can't see what the CPU is doing, so we can't really tell if that's true or not. All we know is the CPU is at 90 something degrees, and we're getting 70 FPS, and we can see our frame times. Our CPU is well known, and our RAM is all known. Hi, Chum. Still, this was a pretty fun game. Definitely not like Game of the Year material by any means. I had fun with it. I'd have given this game like, if I had to rate it out of 10, I'd give this like a 6.5. I had fun, but definitely wasn't like super Here's insane in any way. The story was all right. Gameplay's all right. Everything about it's kind of just all right, you know? So, hey, there's the damn door. We found the door. But, in any case, that's about it for this game, I think. So why don't we go and wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys. That's a wrap for Starfield on the Alienware M18 with the 7900M. And it actually did better than I was expecting at 1440 here. I was figuring it was going to be like a 40 FPS experience the whole time. But no, we were actually getting very similar performance to what we were getting before. So that was kind of a surprise. Still, we had like, you know, some drops under 60, but we did when we were at 1200p too. That just happens in this game, especially when you're in the city. It wasn't too bad when we were out in the freaking outside area. But this game, once you're in a city, you get lots of drops under 60. Unless you have like a super top of the line PC. And even then, it probably drops under 60 here and there. I don't have a frame rate counter all the time going when I'm on my main computer just for videos or if I feel like, huh, if something feels a little weird, let me, let me turn on Afterburner real quick. Oh yeah, I'm getting like only 50 FPS for some odd reason, what the hell? And then it'll usually be like, oh, alt tab, alt tab back in. All right, now we're getting 120, 130. Okay, cool. We're back in business. Turn the FPS counter back off. That's kind of how I roll with FPS counters in my day-to-day -day gaming life. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.